Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're going to be using that rounded uh, trowel, or it's called a magnesium float. I actually didn't know that. Anyway, it's called, I just call it a rounded trowel. We're going to be using this today. And today we're going to be crushing the paint, so dabbing it, as I like to say. Um, so we'll be doing the, the typical dab technique that I tend to do on a lot of the paintings that I do when I'm not scraping. We're going to be doing with this bad boy. Um, now the colors that we'll be using are black, white, gold, and red. The, I will be painting over this painting here, but the painting already has those colors in it. So it's almost like we're, you know, if you see some of the background, it's going to be fine because it's not going to be a white background. Um, and I don't know if I would sell this painting, but I, I just, I'm not happy with the way that it turned out. Like I kind of was when I first did it, but there's a lot of like, variation and, and the gray and stuff it just looks kind of dirty to me and so I I'm not happy with the overall um, end result sorry so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just paint over it by using the dab technique we're gonna try this rounded trowel to see if it's any good for this technique um, if it's not if it doesn't work out then I'll just switch to my regular plastic uh, trial. So first things first, I'm a realist. So let's go ahead and put the paint aside and we're going to pour the paint into little pools onto the canvas. Um, and we'll do it one color at a time. I will actually start with uh, white and then go into gold, then red, then black. So we're going to go ahead and put our stick aside. We've already mixed them. All right. And so we'll go ahead and pour that into little pockets. And that should be good. Now that's quite a bit of paint actually already. We're gonna put the white aside. It's probably plenty. So now we'll move into the gold. So I'm just gonna give it one good last stir only because of the metallic paint, it just likes to break up really easily. Um, this is PPG Metallics. I got it like Home Depot. And I like the paint, but it, it just separates really easily. So, so we're just gonna kind of pour some of this around the edges of the painting. And I do want some little pockets of it. So we're just gonna do that. I don't want a ton of gold, but quite a bit. So next we'll move into, I guess the red. So again, give it one last stir, although I think it's pretty good. Scrape our stick off and set that aside. Go ahead and pour the red. And I kind of want the red to be the focal point. So I'm really going to kind of put it together in a line. And I'll just put a little splash of red over there. And if you've never seen these videos or the the dabbed abstracts that I do, um, then you'll get to see them today. So we'll set that bad boy aside, and all that's left is the black. So we will give that one last stir. Scrape it off, good to go. Set that aside. And what I'm trying to do here with the paint is, I want these kind of pools of paint because I want I mean, you'll see it when it's done. Like, I want colors to kind of stand out in specific areas. Um, ow. Well, that was my hip. Um, I want the colors to kind of like... They're going to blend, but I also want them to have little designated areas, I guess. So that's it. That's all the paint. I'm sure it's plenty. If not, we can always add more. But what we're going to do is we're always... I always start with the lightest. So what we do is we take it and we kind of put it somewhere else. And then we take it and we put it somewhere else. And we take it and we put it somewhere else. And then we start to kind of take those colors and combine them. <clears throat> it's a weird sound, that little suction noise. But we're going to kind of move out the colors here. And you want to try to do like an even dispersal of the paint, but the problem is that sometimes it just doesn't work that way, especially because the paint is 
in little puddles so it, it tends to want to pool together. Kind of weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And it's working, but it's also pulling a lot of the different colors together. So I think it's a little too much. Um, so I'm actually gonna wipe that off before it dries. Okay. So that, if I don't get that gloss enamel off, then it just stays on there. Okay, so I don't like how much it got dispersed, and it's really my fault. Sounds like somebody's here. Um, so what I need to do is kind of pull out one color at a time and kind of pull that into the different areas so that it doesn't create as much dispersal because if you if you drop it into one and then drop it into another then it starts to pull the colors together I, I really didn't want to do that um, I wanted to have the colors themselves kind of carry through oh there's somebody here all right so what we're going to do is there is some of it showing through on bottom right there so we're gonna pull those together so then we're gonna pull these out and the reason I always say to try to start with the lightest color is because once they start mixing then you lose those distinct colors See the paint is pulling in certain spots because there's so much of it right there. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a gap over here. So we're going to try to pull some of that paint and mix it in. Alright, so now once I've got most of it covered, I'll kind of search and see where I can pull some paint and fill in any gaps. And I'll, what I'll try to do is I'll try to pull the paint from the areas of the colors that I like, if that makes sense. So like there's a lot of white, but I don't want to put this back into the white because then it's going to pull those colors. So I'm just going to. <clears throat> and then for these ones, I'll just kind of Okay, so now I'm just going to look for any gaps where the canvas is coming through. There's a little bit of a gap right there. It's hard to see. So we'll just kind of pull, just basically drop this on the paint and then kind of slowly lift it up and it will pull it together. And there's a little bit of the canvas showing through right here. So if I just dab the corner into the paint, it will spread the paint around and it will fill those gaps. So I really like this black and red that's over here. 
So I'm gonna pull some of that over here for the edge because the edge didn't quite get covered. We're gonna cover that up. And I don't wanna lose any of the white here, so I don't wanna put the trowel into the white because then I'll lose that distinct color. And I think that's, that's a little bit of a, a gap. And just looking it over, there's a, there's a gap over there. All right, so you can see that there's a lot of paint on there. It's running together. So if I keep using it, <clears throat> it's going to uh, bleed those colors together. So what I'll do is uh, I always wear gloves when I use gloss on it because I've learned my lesson. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to dip our finger into the little gaps here. Oh no, I just, I just stuck my arm in paint. Um, so we'll just kind of dip our finger into the areas where the, the paint is missing. And we'll just kind of mix the color that way. So we push into the paint and then pick up our finger and it will kind of pull those colors together. All right, so looking it over, kind of scrutinizing it just to see if there's any gaps. It looks like we're okay. Now, using a lot of paint like I did today, it will pool to the middle. Um, this is kind of something you have to deal with if you ever use gloss enamel because it's very viscosic. Um, I just stuck my hand in that same paint. But I think honestly, the whole painting is covered. It looks, oh, there's a gap over there. So I'm gonna steal some of this and pull those colors together. Perfect. Oh, there's a couple of gaps here. All right, so there's a gap there and a gap there. So we're just gonna, you can see the gap there. So I'm gonna pull the paint and I'm just gonna pick it up. And then I'm gonna use a different finger that doesn't have paint on it for this color over here where the, the pink and this stuff is. So I'll just pick some of that up. And we'll just, and we just kind of push into it and pick it up because then it will pull all of the surrounding paint into that little gap. There's one right there actually. So just kind of pick up the paint and then drop it back into place and it fills that gap nicely. Okay, so I think that's it. The painting is filled. Um, it's actually a really cool painting. I do like it. <sighs> and this is why I like doing the, the dabbed paintings because they're so dynamic. There's so much movement in this. And it, I don't know if you could make a painting like this without doing this type of technique. Um, I really need to get this paint off before it dr dries and doesn't come off. So. Let me show you guys the painting, the final one. So here is what it looks like. Let me, let me scoot back for a second. I'll take a thumbnail. So there's the thumbnail. I think it took it. Okay. So here is the final piece. I'll get kind of low so there's no glare. Looks pretty cool, to be honest with you guys. And then we've got just the layover here. We've got the white and the gold and the black, and then the red and the the red and the white kind of made like a pinkish uh, color over here, and then you can see that the black and the white pulled together made a gray. We've got some really thin lines happening to kind of break up the uh, just the the massive amount of paint that are on here. And we've got our hints of gold and then some swirls. What I like about the uh, the swirls is that they almost look like flames or something like like this is probably my favorite part of the painting and it's a lot of movement like it's pulling in um, so I really like that the red and black is always my favorite it's one of my favorite color schemes but overall guys that's the painting I hope you liked this video I actually like this painting I'm pretty proud of it there's people talking outside still um, but anyway I will I uh, hope you guys like this video if you did you know, let me know. 
like, rate, share, subscribe, all the cool stuff. And uh, I'm going to go talk to those people being noisy outside. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.